All right, everybody, Sylvia here, and I am at Tater Tot 2022. There's been a lot of rain uh, all weekend, and every day I get up and hope the forecast is incorrect. And actually, we have had windows of dry skies. We've been able to get out riding every day, and it is Sunday today. We usually do Dobbs and Pass on Tuesday, but the weather has six hours of dry skies predicted. And so I suggested we do it today. So I'm on the trail. I'm headed to my friend Todd's house and we are gonna do Dobson Pass. And this is a ride you can do in two ways, two distances. You can go up and back down and from the hotel it's a 25 mile round trip or you can go to the top and continue and it'll take you along beautiful river and then back to the trail of the Coeur d'Alene and that loop back to the hotel is about 52 miles and at the moment I am under the impression that we are going to get to the top of Dobson Pass assess the weather situation and make a decision at that point. So, all right, let's go. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, so we stopped in at Todd's and the only Portland posse person that wanted to do Dobson today was Lonnie. So Lonnie and I are I headed up the hill. Dobson Pass today. Woohoo! Yes. All right, so we have turned onto Nine Mile Creek Road, which is the road to the top of Dobson Pass. And this is a pretty quiet road. It doesn't have a shoulder, but there's so little traffic. I never feel in danger or hesitate to do this ride and uh, it goes right along beautiful creek here that is just full of water just rushing rushing down the hill All right, so we're probably about halfway up the climb to Dobson Pass. Got Lonnie behind me. And uh, this is where the slog of the climb happens. I am running my Garmin Varia, which tells me what kind of traffic we're, we've got as we're riding. And so far, we've got four cars have passed since we've been on this road and uh, I think we've got another two miles to go yeah just beautiful up here yeah so I have done this climb probably ten times and I've done three times with electric assist and you know there's all kinds of electric assist I have the Shimano Steps E8000. It is designed for the European market. I'm riding an HP Velotechnic, which is out of Germany, and they are not allowed. Europe has regulations, and they're not allowed to have any motor bigger than 250 watts of power and I have no throttle so I have to pedal and you can hear I'm really huffing and puffing even though I am using my electric assist I have it in the middle power mode otherwise known as trail mode I could put it in boost mode but you know I'm pretty comfortable here and 
The difference is without electric assist, I would be, my speed would be two to three miles an hour. And with my electric assist in the middle power level, I'm going five to six miles an hour. I'm doubling my speed, which for me, I'm perfectly happy with. So, All right, I've made it to the top of Dobson Pass. I can probably hear I'm huffing and puffing. And I think this is gonna be the bulk of the riding, the bulk of the climbing for this ride. You can uh, probably, well, let's just put it on pause. It's maybe hard to see, but we've done almost 2,000 feet of climbing, 1,907, and just under 16 miles. Average speed of 9.4. And uh, yeah, this isn't showing how many cars passed me. But um, I think it said it was five. And, you know, for six mile road riding, that's really not a lot of cars. And everybody always passes at a respectable slow speed and gives us plenty of room. And I actually think one of the vehicles that was registered on this Varia Garmin was Lonnie when he passed me. Um, he actually stopped and I passed him again, so he's on his way up here. But it may be a little bit surprising to hear that the uh, Varia also counts bikes, but it will count any vehicle that passes, including bikes, and I kind of like it. Lonnie, let's go. Flying down the hill after the summiting Dobson Pass. What a fun downhill that was. Oh my gosh, I got up over 40 miles an hour coming down that hill. And, uh, and we're still, we're still going downhill, but I've caught up to my gear so I can pedal now. And here with Lonnie, just, oh, just having a great time out here. This is just fantastic. I love this road. What a downhill. Oh, so amazing. Zoom, zoom. Go, Lonnie, go. Thank you. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So perfect. Perfect. Just had this phenomenal downhill. We have done no climbing since the top of the pass, and I think we were at 15 miles and we're just at 26 now. So it's been mu pretty much a 10 mile downhill. And uh, this is a traditional stop, little gas station, and they have ice cream. On. Dash cams on. Turbo. Turbo is there. Oh, All right. It's, it's up dark. Warmed up. All right. All right. Hit the power. We have Headlights on. on. Tail lights flashing. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Parking brake off. We are exactly halfway on this ride. We're at 26 miles, and this is a 52 mile loop. And we were just talking to the people at the gas station. And then they are calling for snow at the higher elevations on Tuesday. So I think Lonnie and I, we chose wisely doing this ride today. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, we're definitely in a bit of a rain squall here. We've got a lot of blue sky, so I don't think it's going to last. But uh, yeah, at the moment we are getting we are getting wet. All right, so Lonnie and I have over 45 miles, almost 46 on the odometer. I think it's time to eat. And we are at the snake pit. Lonnie's parked in the grass. And I'm gonna park next to another triker that's here. Looks like somebody's riding a terror trike. I think Myrtle and this terror trike will become very good friends. Right. Carol and Grizz getting the goggles on, the helmet, <laughs> heading back to camp. Yes. All right. Ready. This is Carol from Spokumbent Group. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good beer. Very good nice. Food, good ride. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Grizz is ready. Look at that tail wag. Oh, yeah, so cute. Like to go. Oh, I gotta get a close up on this. <laughs> So with full bellies, after our lunch at the snake pit, oh, that was so good. It was perfect. Lonnie and I are back on the trail of the Coeur d'Alene, and we are on the final stretch. We're gonna make a couple stops. We're stopping at Walmart, as you do, and then we'll check in at the hotel, see who's there, see what's going on, but I think we've got about nine miles left on this ride. We'll find out what the ending mileage is when we get there. But yeah, just a sensational ride out here. We've been so lucky with the weather. We had one downpour. Hopefully it'll hold, the weather will hold for the rest of the ride. How nice is this, huh? Okay. All right, Lonnie, 
fabulous ride today. I enjoyed it, Sylvia. Super, super fun. Way to work that downhill. Right? Awesome job, girl. Oh, man, we screamed. We awesome. screamed. Yeah. And now we're at the hotel, but we're going to head to our respective places to drop off our trikes before it rains. So we're headed back down the trail just for a few more miles. Headed for the barn. Headed for the barn. Yep, you can see everybody gonna come back for the for the pot luck, baby. Yes, Cornell. Snap, snap. <laughs>